Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Muzammil Ahmed and title of my project is Accent Severity Prediction Using Machine Learning Models. So, uh, so these are some content we are going to cover in this presentation which includes the objective of our project, nature of problem we are doing and uh, background of our data, data cleaning and data preprocessing, machine learning model we are using in this project which was the winning model and streamlit app beneficiaries and challenges we face during this project and in last conclusion so starting with objective so the aim of this project is basically to predict the severity of an accident using using various features uh, we are taking accident severity as our target variable which has class 1 2 3 so it is a multi class classification problem in which target variable accident severity has classes three classes 1 2 3 so uh, data we are using is taken from Kaggle named as UK Traffic Accident. It contains around 4,67,000 records and 33 different features. Data consists of records of traffic accidents happening in all over the UK during the time period of 2012 to 2014. Uh, the data is basically collected by the UK government of UK with the help of UK Police Department. So now moving forward to the technical part of our uh, project. So it's better to move to the Python code. So here's so here we are first importing our all libraries, now loading our dataset and doing data analysis. First we are checking all the records and number of attributes in our data. Uh, now we are checking for the null values using pandas. So it's showing that the, these two columns have a lot of null values. So it's better to drop them. Uh, we are dropping junction details, junction control because it has a lot of null values. Now we are uh, dropping uh, other uh, null values from the other features. Now and uh, after dropping null values we have our uh, new data set which is filtered data without null values so now now on we are checking for the unique feature which has a unique value such as id date time and we are going to drop them before doing one out encoding so here we are dropping this column and this is the new shape of our uh, data set before doing one out encoding so now we are doing one out encoding on our filter data and after one out encoding we are splitting our data set into train and test uh, after splitting, we are uh, implementing our first model, which is logistic regression. It is giving us a, a ROC score of 0 0.57. So, uh, after logistic regression, we are implementing decision tree, which is also giving an ROC score of 0 0.83. So, after decision tree, we are implementing uh, K nearest neighbors. So, uh, it is giving us a value of 0 0.5731 of ROC. Uh, now, after KNN, we are implementing random forest classifier, which is give us a better ROC than the previous model, which is 0 0.69. So, we implement it on different parameters and also perform uh, k-fold 10 class 10 k-fold cross validation uh, which is also giving us a accuracy of 84 percent so after that we are performing gradient boosting as well uh, which is giving us a best result in term of roc and find result in accuracy so uh, so we are implementing grid search on gradient boosting and uh, after grid search they give us a parameter of best parameter which are 250 meters and learning rate 0 0.05 so we are now applying these parameter and uh, different parameters on gradient boosting to get the best result so after all these parameters we got the best result till now which is uh, 0 0.733 roc and 94 percent accuracy of gradient boosting so after that we are implementing voting classifier which is basically a combination of our all the best models so it is voting classifier giving us a best result of 0 0.7464 and accuracy of 84.7 percent which is uh, we are considering as the best in term of ROC and considering it as the best model, winning model. So now after voting class trial, we are using a for loop with gradient boosting to check out the ROC values at different estimators, but it is not giving us a better value than voting classifier. So moving forward to, uh, we are preparing our test data for deployment. So here we are uploading our new CSV, which is also a UK XM file, but from 2009 to 2011. Uh, it also has the same shape and size. So uh, we will split it and uh, fetch the test data and uh, uh, apply all the data preprocessing we did earlier. So after that we got our test data and deploy our model which is voting classifier here on our new data which is taken from another CSV. So it is giving us a result of 0 0.670 and um, ROC value and now we are import pickle and dump file for our streamlit API. So now we are moving forward to our app.py file. So here is our streamlit app.py file. So moving forward to the uh, API extensibility prediction application. So here having speed limit number of vehicles involved, number of casualties happened, uh, road number, days of the week, that is five. Urban or rural, uh, one means urban, so let's put it. So here it is giving us an extensibility of three. So, so now moving back to our presentation, uh, here, uh, we already covered all this from uh, Python code, so moving forward. 
So this project will help uh, traffic management and control department uh, with the precise prediction of accident severity. Traffic uh, operator can deploy different measure to reduce the effect of accident, such as uh, such as providing timely medical assistance to the injured person and reduce casualties. So challenges I faced during this project is during the calculation of RSA score from multi-class classification problem as the procedure of calculation of RSA score is little bit different in multi-class classification problem and as compared to the binary class problem. Moving forward to the conclusion, in last we have uh, finalized that voting classifier is our winning model and it is performing exceptionally well and other than that gradient boosting is also performing well and giving a good accuracy. So that's all from my side, thank you.